Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I turned 30 last year, December, and I was just thinking, what video can I make? And I thought, why not make a life lessons I have learned in 30 years video because 30 years is a long time to be on this earth. And I'm so grateful to still be here, to be healthy and to be loved. So let's get right into it. Also, before I start, make sure you're subscribed and also hit the notification button so you get notified every time I post a new video. So the first lesson is to spend less and live within your means. I mean, this is obvious, but it's a hard lesson for a lot of us, especially if you've grown up with really bad money habit habits. Budgeting is important if you're going to be able to do this as well. So it's something that you have to learn. I am still learning. Do you know like when you go to get groceries and you come out with exactly what's on your list, I feel like I've won the Olympics when that happens because it's almost impossible. I always buy something that's not on my list, which means I'm overspending. So it's probably one of the hardest things to do, but it takes practice to be able to live within your means and also spend less, cutting costs where you need to and budgeting. Be honest with yourself. Um, I think this is probably one of the biggest lessons I learned back when I was 19 years old. I think that was the time when I was sort of finding myself, I wanted to learn more about myself and I just want, wanted to come into my own. And it's one of the things that I learned that the only way to sort of grow is to be honest with myself in the areas that I needed help with so I could work on them and then to become a better person. And I think generally when you're honest with yourself, it helps you to also be honest with other people. Never stop learning. This is also something I learned back when I was 19. I think this period was such a growth period for me because I was really wanting to make a change in my life. So I realized that if I am going to keep winning, if I am going to keep thriving, I have to keep learning. And I think when you have this mindset of being a student of life, it keeps you humble, it keeps you curious, it keeps you fresh, and you never go out of date because you're always wanting to know more, you're open to know more about people, you're open to learn about different subjects, and it just makes you a well-rounded human being, which we need more of in this earth. Speak up when you've been offended and to never hold a grudge. Over the years I learned to be able to speak up and I found it as a way of helping me to also not hold grudges because once as it happens if you just talk about it there and then you, you release yourself you know you let yourself be free and you just move on with your life and you leave whatever happened behind you. Do not base your worth on your job title. I mean, I had to learn this the hard way because coming out of uni, having a, a degree and then a postgraduate degree and then not being able to find a job. I mean, my identity was all wrapped up in the fact that I had a degree and I was this person, so I needed to get this kind of job. And I realized that that mentality really messed me up. So the way I came out of that was to identify myself based on my personal values. So it's important to, to sort of have the two along each other so you don't get lost in terms of job loss because jobs and all these organizations are not loyal. The job market flips up and down every day and nobody is safe. So I think it's really important to find your self worth in your own beliefs instead of who you are at work, your job title. Just because you have a degree or an education doesn't mean you are going to be rich. The whole educational system is a scam. Degrees mean nothing now. I mean, everybody has got a degree. So really, if you're gonna be rich, you need to get really creative now and you know, 
use other skills that you have outside of what you've studied so if you've still got that mindset that you're gonna go to uni and then come out and be rich then forget that because it's not happening you have to you know apply yourself a lot more you have to get creative and and learn skills outside of what we were taught when we were in school self-care is not only face mask and pedicures and medicures and you know just taking care of yourself having a nap going on holiday and whatnot self-care is also setting goals and achieving those goals and i really um realized that towards the end of 2019 because i had a few goals that i wasn't working towards and honestly for the whole year sometimes i'd just like be in bed and i'd be staring into the ceiling you know just daydreaming about the things that i have to do the things i'm not doing and i was always so down and my husband had to have a chat with me and he was like if you've got all these things that you need to do you just need to plan you know put time aside and do them and it was obvious enough but i think i was just stuck in this rut that I just couldn't get out of so since then I just made the decision you know and I started working towards my goals and I did achieve a lot of them and honestly since then I felt a lot better and it just made me a lot happier I wasn't feeling down so that was when it really clicked that self-care is not only just pampering it's also about working towards those fundamental goals that you know these things are part of you that when you're not doing them you don't feel like yourself become the person you are looking for this is very important for relationships this is what a lot of people used to say when we we're younger about 17 and 18 they used to say that oh yeah if i'm going to date this man he can't shop in primark he can't be getting on the bus he needs to have a car and i always thought that if i don't have a car who am i to say that the other person has to have a car and then later on i really realized that for me to deserve the person that i'm looking for i have to also be that person for the other person so that we're both like complementing each other so if you want to find the best person for you you need to mirror all those characteristics that you're looking for in that person you need to work on yourself to make sure that when that person finds you they will also be happy with what they see never be afraid to start small but dream big this is so fundamental to everything because we all have to start somewhere all the biggest celebrities all the richest people they had to start somewhere even the people with the biggest talents now they hard to start somewhere sometimes they weren't even that great but through practice through perseverance through hard work you get better if you don't give up and also whilst you're starting small don't worry about what other people are saying don't worry about what other people will think about you just keep focused on your goal you know focus on where you are going the worst thing that can ever happen to you could also turn around to be the best thing to ever happen to you before my dad passed my dad passed suddenly there was nothing wrong with him he just collapsed and that was that he was gone three years before then i had been so down i was just struggling with so much i had like a lot of self-esteem issues all of it stemmed from me not being able to find a job after university and i just could not for the life of me get out of it and honestly the way my dad passed away when i'm telling you that was like it felt like a truck hit me out of whatever that was i came right out of it and you know i just had more motivation i didn't want his death to go to waste because i mean he was such a hard working man and to just pass away a few weeks after taking his pension that was so sad to me it just made me want to take life by its horns living in the moment working hard towards my goals um going for everything that i ever wanted um yeah so that is what my dad's passing did for me even though it was probably the worst day of my life it also woke me up out of what whatever sleep i was in and now i live life more intentionally um 
and I'm not apologetic for it because I know where I've come from I know the people who've come before me I know the sacrifices that they've made for me to be here so no I do not apologize for for what I'm doing I don't apologize for who I am because I know where I'm going and where I came from choose people who choose you I think I have always been this person growing up I I've never found myself around people or places where I'm not wanted you will not find me there and if I get a bad vibe about a situation a place a person that I'm not wanted they do not like me I will move away from that person if you don't like me mm, then I don't like you either you know so <laughs> that's just how it works and I think this is so also important in, in relationship because it helps you sort of avoid so many heartaches like some people just naturally want people who don't want them and it's just weird I naturally want somebody who wants me but only if whoever wants me also has the the qualities that I'm looking for but I will never go after somebody who blatantly does not want me because naturally I like to be accepted so I just can't go where I'm not accepted if I get any bad vibes for you do sis thank you sometimes it's best to learn from other people's experiences growing up I always watched the older people I watched people around me and I always made notes of mistakes that were made if you did this and this was the results that you got I'll make sure to avoid doing that same thing you know and that's just how I've lived my life and it served me a lot so certain experiences you need to go through it yourself but I think some people put themselves in situations where it's not necessary they, they could have just you know picked that up from some somewhere else it makes your life easier progress over perfection for years I have been a perfectionist and I think I have used that as an excuse to not start many things. Save for the future but also live in the moment. This was one thing that really messed with my head after my dad passed away because this man had worked so hard all his life and for him to turn 60 to take his pension and then drop off the face of the earth it really blew my mind and it made me think what is the point you know what is the point of hard work if you're not going to be able to enjoy it later on and then it clicked life is unpredictable and I can't just say because I might not even live till 60 I'm just gonna spend all my money and not you know put anything aside for emergencies that would be very unwise so the best way to do that is to save for the future but whilst you're doing that also make sure that you're also living the life that you desire if you want a wedding have that wedding if you want to travel twice a year make sure you have enough money to travel twice a year but also stick to your saving goals and I think that is so important so that even if you know your time comes sooner then you've done both and you've got nothing to lose really but if you do one and not the other then you've got everything to lose regret is worse than fear one thing that affects us a lot is fear fear is what keeps us from doing the things that we want to do which then results in regret at a later time at the end of the day fear is temporal but regret is permanent is forever because when you're young there's certain things that you have to do there's a timeline you have to do certain things by a certain age and when you miss that period when you're old and you're 80 you may not be able to go back and do that thing and you have to just live with that and that's one thing that I'm absolutely scared of and that's why I will always go after what I want and whatever I want to do stand up for what you believe in I mean the worst thing you can do is to believe in something but not act on it and when you do that you lose respect and also there's that saying that if you don't stand for something you will fall 
for anything so it's important to be able to have your beliefs and stand by them because if not people will think you're a joke do to others as you'd like to be done unto you this just goes without saying you can't treat people one way and expect to be treated another way you will be treated exactly as you treat others because you do teach others how to treat you not everyone whose blood is family family is actually based on characteristics the way people treat you and the people who are there for you when you most need them people who celebrate your your wins with you people who are always there no matter what those are family it's better to be single than to be in a horrible relationship you know don't rush to be in a relationship make sure you find the right one because they will ruin your life it's not worth it it's not worth the hustle god is not god because of what he does for me but rather he is god because of who he is this was a big old lesson that i had to learn when i was about 20 or 21 i had just lost a very very dear friend and quite honestly i questioned god so much and really what i learned at that time is that god is not who he is because of of the things that he does for me he's not just there to to do what i ask he is god outside of me like who am i he's not just there to give us everything that we want in this life there's a balance of you know good and bad and we need both to sort of shape us into our ultimate you know beings marriage is both hard and beautiful i mean when it's good it's really good and then when it's bad it's really bad and you know you have to figure everything out and you know as humans sometimes you just don't want to figure anything out you just want to bury your head in the sand and then hope that when you come back up everything will be fixed but in marriage that's not how it works you have to figure it out because all you have is each other it's work but it is good work i just want you to know that it's not always bliss and it takes hard work you need to work on yourself it's some deep deep work that you need to do on yourself your partner needs to do that work and you have work that you have to do together as well and it can be draining but it's rewarding if you're ready for it and it's with the right person as well it's okay to say no growing up especially in my teens it was really hard for me to say no especially to adults because in the african community you don't get to say no <laughs> you just have to say yes you have to do it or you have to find a way to say yes you're gonna do it but then you don't do it but as a grown-up i've learned that it took it's absolutely okay to say no you don't have to be everywhere you don't have to do everything you absolutely don't have to and as of now you can't get me to do anything that i don't want to do because when you say yes to something that should have really been a no it's such a burden and it's not worth it know when it's time to leave you know certain situations and in certain places sometimes you just have to know you know my time here is done or like when to let go of something that you've always wanted a vision that you had about your future you just have to know when to let it go because when you do that you're able to free yourself for new opportunities keep a positive outlook it helps you to to just like yourself as a person like you're able to sit with yourself as well because you have a positive mindset and you're able to to sit with your with your own thoughts because they're nice thoughts and they make you who you are they make you happy they make other people around you happy and they generally just help push you through life and through any hardship so it's really important to keep an open mind about life and how things can get better be shameless about who you are this is so important because there's only one you and sometimes we're so quick to you know imitate somebody else or try to be somebody else because other people think that they're cool but that person doesn't have something that you have why not capitalize on that thing that you're better at and you know make that into your thing and be comfortable in yourself be shameless and be authentic not everyone is going to like you and that is okay i mean there's so many different flavors in this 
in this world and we don't all like all of them and same applies to people there's so many different types of people and you can't like all of them because we're, we've all come from different backgrounds and different experiences and because of that we have different prejudices, we have different outlook and because of that we're just not going to like everybody and that is okay. You know, the worst thing you can do is to try and get everybody to like you because if everybody likes you it means there's something wrong with you. And the last thing that I will say is to, is to speak life because there is so much power in the tongue there is so much power in 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 our speech in the things that we speak over our lives and the lives of other people and this is something that i i am constantly learning cuz it's really easy to forget sometimes you say things that you don't mean but you just say them anyway but it's so important to really only speak positive and highly of ourselves and of the people that we love. So I have come to the end of my video and it's not come without struggles. My camera has died on me a few times so thank you for sitting through it with me. Let me know what lessons you've learned in your lifetime as well and thank you for watching. If you've not subscribed, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!